so yeah, we're, we're uh, two weeks into practice right now, and um, you know I, the guys are obviously working hard. Like we, we have a, a good core of, of returning guys who have set the set the tones and set the standards for what we're expecting um, from a work ethic standpoint. And you know I think we're we're moving through things pretty quickly in practice, which is which is obviously a good thing. Um, with you know with having seven new guys, seven new faces now in the roster this year, um, but I'm definitely happy with where we're at in terms of our work ethic, our progress. Uh, guys got to got to keep challenging each other every day. It's it's that kind of that point in the season in in, uh, in the preseason where there can be a little bit of uh, um, staleness to the practice just because we're seeing ourselves uh, day after day. Um, but now that we're you know kind of a week and a half out of our first game and some scrimmages coming up, um, I think the guys are definitely uh, getting a little more focused on on you know what's ahead and what's at stake right now. Um, but definitely the, the returning guys certainly bring a, a level of maturity and just kind of professionalism to our, our daily practices in terms of work ethic, um, you know, getting things accomplished every day and making sure that we're taking steps each day in practice. Um, with our yeah, with our eight returning guys, um, you know they, they bring a lot of playing time to the table. Um, all, a lot of these guys contributed uh, at various you know various points in their career, have been integral parts of our roster and our rotation. Um, you know we Mikey Petway is a you know is our is our point, starting point guard. He's been our starting point guard for three years, uh, all conference player last year. So Mikey is kind of the, the the guy that we look to lead. Um, you know the entire team from day one. Um, you know he works extremely hard. He gets after it every single day in practice. Uh, plays at a high level and, and a thousand point scorer for us. So. You know, there's there's a little bit of extra pressure on Mikey now that it's his senior year. We we certainly want him to continue to lead, and, and but also at the same time, he's really got to find a way to continue to make all of his teammates better because he draws so much attention on the uh, on the defensive end. Um, Mike McGuire and, uh, and and Alex Sikorsky will will both bring uh, you know great shooting uh, on the floor from our wing spots. Uh, Tim Riley is a is a tough six foot two forward that, that can go inside and out. Plays extremely hard, brings just a level of competitiveness to practice every day and on the court. Um, and then we have, uh, Z uh, excuse me, Zach Tavidian, who is a six foot seven sophomore, uh, rookie of the year last year in the conference. Um, you know, Zach is a, is a great inside outside player, very skilled on the offensive end. Um, you know, we expect a, a big year from Zach. I think he's got to continue to improve on the, on the defensive glass. Um, and just, just you know, making sure that he's locked in every possession. But, but Zach certainly uh, makes makes it really tough for defenses to try to figure out exactly how to guard him. Um, you know, and then we have Reed Colleen, uh, Nick DeGenero, and Nate Ramos, who are all returning from last year's uh, roster. And and Reed's a guy that does a little bit of everything for us. He's a glue guy, rebounds, defends. Uh, Nick is a very good uh, leader, point guard, uh, handles the ball well, shoots it well. And then Nate is a, is a tremendous outside shooter. So I think all these guys that we've just talked about, they all bring a different piece to the table. Um, and, and certainly that leadership component, that um, you know, that cultural component that we're looking for to continue to get this program going in the right direction. We're hoping that these guys, you know, just continue to set the standard for all the newcomers coming in. So we have a we have a pretty good freshman class. Um, we have seven new guys, um, all freshmen on the roster this year. Um, you know, we're they've been they've been super competitive in practice. Uh, they've brought a you know a level of intensity. Uh, they're got good size and length, um, and, and I think they all bring different skill sets and and. Um, you know, in, in value to the table. Um, starting with uh, two walk-ons, uh, John Earl and Tamian Sherry both uh, approached me about trying out in the fall and, and um, they've been really good additions to the team. Both guards uh, can both handle it and shoot the ball pretty well. And, and um, you know, they bring some toughness to the table. Um, we also have uh, Jared Sancho, who's a six foot three wing forward from North Haven, Connecticut. Jared's a good athlete, good defender. Um, you know, he's, he's somebody that, that can com compete inside and outside. Um, Kenny Flynn is a six foot five forward from Shepherd Hill in Massachusetts. Kenny is uh, is really good inside and outside. Uh, gets above the rim, um, can step out and make threes, and, and we're really excited with what Kenny's bringing to the table so far. Um, uh, Emil Exholm is a uh, six foot nine center from Holliston, Mass. Emil has been battling some nagging injuries, but you know Emil obviously brings some great size. Uh, he can finish around the rim. He runs better than you would think, um, and he's just a great, great guy and a great teammate. Um, and, and, he's, and he's, you know, he brings a level of defense and, and um, challenge at the rim that's, you know, that's obviously tough to find at this at this level at the Division three level. Um, you know, and then we have uh, Antonio Brancato. Antonio is a five foot ten guard 
uh, out of Fairfield, Connecticut. Shifty, uh, really good combo guard, um, gets into the lane, uh, finishes well, and, and can uh, make the pull up as well. Uh, and does a really good job of finding uh, open teammates. And last but not least is uh, John Lyons, a six foot three uh, wing shooter, shooting guard um, out of Stanford, Connecticut. Uh, John is a very good shooter, good scorer, uh, plays above the rim, good athlete, um, and, and good, brings some good size at that position. Uh, just the ability to really score, you gotta guard him at all times. So we, had, we have a couple key players coming back for us this year that were sophomores last year. Mike McGuire, Nick, and Tim Riley. And then we also had who were freshmen last year, Zach Davinian and Alex Sikorsky. They, the reason why they will be so much better because they gain more confidence in themselves, more playoff experience with the team, and overall just become better players. And they've been working hard during the preseason with CPC, and we've been working hard with, with each other during the season, during the off season. Uh, so this year we have a pretty good uh, freshman class. Uh, we've got a lot of athleticism coming in, some height, which is definitely going to help us out in the long run. Um, it gives a chance to for us starters and people who play the majority of the minutes to come on and off the court, get some breaks and everything, uh, which is good. Um, last year I had won Rookie of the Year, so for me coming back this year, I'm definitely trying to improve on everything that I was working on last year. Um, and as well as going along with the team, I'm trying to help out my teammates get to the basket or get open for shots, stuff like that. Um, this year we're really working on communication. Um, so in practice, everyone's talking. We're, we're making that a very big point for our team for us to have a very successful year. Yeah, so we have a, we have a pretty challenging schedule, um, especially our out-of-conference schedule. Uh, we open up with Springfield College, who is preseason number seven in the country. Um, you know, they return some of their best players in that lineup. And I know our guys will be ready for that game. It's, you know, it's a local rival two miles down the road. Um, you know, home court's a huge test for us to, to open up the year, kind of figure out where we're at, um, how much have we improved from, from last year's team. Um, and then we're, we're playing in two, uh, two holiday tournaments against uh, NESCAC schools. Um, the first one is at Wesleyan, November 17th uh, weekend, November 16th and 17th weekend. Um, we're playing in Wesleyan's tournament, and then the, the following one a couple uh, weeks later is up at Trinity College. So hopefully we'll get a chance to play both of those NESCAC schools. Um, you know, certainly playing Westfield State and Dean and um, Emmanuel and Suffolk will be, will be challenges for us as well. We scheduled two Division I schools as uh, exhibition games this year. Uh, so we're playing at Sacred Heart on Monday, November 12th, and then we're also playing against uh, University of Hartford. Um, so both of those will, will be huge tests for us. You know, I, I'm sure, again, the, the guys will be ready for those games, but you know, playing Division I schools uh, is, is never an easy task for a Division III school, um, and I'm hoping that our guys are, are competitive and, and you know, really uh, don't, don't have any kind of uh, element of fear going into those games. Um, and then, we, and then we go into our conference play, and our conference is, is I, I think it's stronger than last year. Um, you know, two years ago we had two teams make the NCAAs. Last year we, we easily could have had another two. Um, but, you know, I think Nichols returns, you know, the, the core of their team. Uh, Endicott's going to be extremely challenging, as always. Roger Williams will be good. Gordon's going to be very good. They, they return uh, some of their best players. So, you know, there's really no drop-off in the league. Um, in fact, I think it's going to be stronger than last year. Uh, but at the same time, we have the majority of our guys back from last year's roster as well. So I like where we're at. Um, hopefully we can continue to take steps uh, in, in improvement. Um, you know, I just think the program is going in the right direction, but it, again, it can, you know, it's got to be continuous and it's got to be, uh, it's, you know, it's got to be each day that we get better. So in the preseason, um, during practice and for CPC, we've all been uh, hanging out together and making sure that we're all talking, communicating. Um, in drills, we're, we're letting people know we're in the help or if, if someone's gotten a nice outlet pass or something, someone's open underneath the basket, we're talking, we're screaming, like we're going to have like, that much more energy on the court when we're all communicating well. You know, I talk to our guys about goals a lot, and it's it's not necessarily that we want to you know win X amount of games or, or win the CC champion CCC championship. Our our goals are really about pro just continual progress, um, making sure that the program is going in the right direction, making sure that we're playing at a certain level of of you know of intensity, of compete, and unselfishness. 
um, you know, and not getting caught up in what if we don't accomplish, you know, a certain amount of wins or um, a final, you know, tournament record or whatever it may be. I want our guys just continually getting better and challenging each other every day, which I think is what we're doing. I think the culture is going in that direction. Um, of course, we would love to be, you know, hosting a home game for the CCC tournament, um, potentially winning the CCC conference title. But I think all those things will come with the guys playing the right way and continuing to progress in the right direction.